Hey guys, this is Parked with eCigaretteForum.com. Uh, I'm going to revisit the Evo. You know, I, and I think I have this thing figured out. This is the IntelliSig uh, Evo. Um, I, di I did think the first one I got was faulty. Uh, John, wonderful guy, sent me a uh, new one to try out. Um, I still get in the uh, same effect. And I think I figured out why. Um, here's a new one right here. It's a little bit shorter. He shipped me the short battery and the bigger battery. Here's the, the other one I got. You can see the difference between the batteries. You can get both of these. Uh, this is the new one. As you can see, the, the vapor is there. I'm still just not getting a throat hit, and I still can't figure out why. Um, here's the other one. This is actually the two-hole. This one has a two-hole atomizer on it. The one I just did had the four-hole. I think that's the one they are selling now. Uh, here's the, here's this one. <clears throat> They're both good. They're, they're not bad e-cigarettes at all, by any means. I think uh, I might have figured some things out after seeing some of the guys talk. Uh, I get you and some of the others. Uh, I realized that they didn't have any other e-cigarettes. They didn't have any pen styles. And they didn't have any 901s. And this is almost the uh, first e-cigarette e -cigarette they've had, I think. Uh, other than that, I don't think they've experienced anything else. I, for one... I started out with a pen style, and then I moved to a 901, and then to a screwdriver and all sorts of other things. I think I was uh, expecting a lot more from the IntelliSig, but I have more to base my opinion on. Um, let's start with this. This is the e Smoky Treats uh, red pen style, and this is just a regular two-hole atomizer. Uh, there is a four-hole atomizer. I'll get to that in a second. Okay, from that I get a very nice throat hit. Uh, with the Evo, I just didn't. And I think it produces more vapor than the IntelliSig. Now here's a also another pen style. This has a four hole atomizer. This is from Pure Smoker. Tremendous um, <coughs> vapor and throat hit. Now let's go back to the IntelliSig four hole. It does produce vapor, it's just there's not much throat hit. I think the vapor is a little bit thicker in the pins. That could be the reason. Um, other than that, I don't know. Here's another one I have. That's the Pee Wee. Uh, this is from Cash also. That's okay. Um, let's go back to the 901. Here's a 901. I get a throat hit from that. And these are all what I started on. Uh, I, I think I was just expecting way too much from the IntelliSig. The IntelliSig is a great cigarette. Uh, most people that buy it will probably stick with it. I, for one, I'm always looking for the next best thing. And uh, I like a lot of vapor production on the throat hit. Some people might not, might not like that. 
Uh, here's another one I had when I first started out. This is the Janny Kiss box. Sorry, I have a titanium battery on here. throat hit uh, and you can control this one because it has the manual button um, another one I started out with was I went ahead and bought Trog screwdriver uh, has a 9 one atomizer only difference is this thing has a longer lasting battery and it also has a manual button to kind of control it That's still the original atomizer I'm on, by the way. Um, and here's the mini fogger, Janties. Here's a little bit longer. I get a better throat hit from that than I do the Intel sick. Now, <coughs> sorry, let me get a drink here. Now those, again, I started out with all of these before I got the Intel sick. So like I said, I think I was expecting way too much from the Intel sick, and uh, not, it's not a bad cigarette at all. John has he, he's a good guy. He's got good, great customer service. Um, just for me. It's not the type of e-cigarette that I'm looking for. Uh, other people might have different opinions, but you know, I think a good thing is to start with a whole bunch of different other ones and then compare them to not just stay with one and say it's better than this or that or this or that. It's a great cigarette, don't get me wrong. It, it is a great cigarette, it's just not for me. Uh, it might be for you. Um, I, for one, enjoy pen styles while I'm at home, the Kiss Box. Uh, kind of sit by my computer and plug in the USB pass through and then you know on my daily commute I'll either go to the uh, the, the 901 or the the Jani Dura um, you know here again is the Jani Dura You get a throat hit from that, a lot of vapor. Uh, again, I had this one before I had the IntelliSig. Um, I just prefer them, I, even the lady pipe I prefer at home, just because I like big vapor reduction and uh, a, a nice throat hit. Another reason I prefer these is because of the carts. Um, in the Intellisig, it has that small cart, and on most of the minis, it does. You know, on the mini pipe, it has a pin style atomizer that I can fill up at any time. It's very easy to refill, uh, just like the uh, 901. Same thing. I can fill that. It's easier to fill while I'm on the go. And also, the uh, Jani Dura has the same type of uh, cart system but bigger than the 901. So, some people got, you guys don't get mad at me. This is just not for me. Um, I'm just being totally honest here. Owning all these other ones, uh, I just expected more from this and I was, I was, I shouldn't have. Uh, but other than that, uh, it's a great cigarette. Those who are looking for it, you, you, you might like it, you might not, but uh, there are others. Um, and I think people should try others before they base their own opinion on one or the other. Uh, some people might not like the 901. Some people might like this one better. This does have a great battery life. Uh, other than that, that's it. This is Parked with eCigaretteForum.com. Thanks, guys.